Hello, my name is Kurt Murray and I am a lecturer for Business Analytics and Operations Research. Together with a few of my colleagues, Uma Sandela Lendle and Jakumin van der Merwe, we have the privilege of introducing the exciting studying opportunities in the Department of Logistics hosted within the Faculty of Economic and Management Sciences. The Department of Logistics is home to four focus areas, logistics and supply chain management, transport economics, business analytics, and operations research. The interaction between these four focus areas, which combines business, economics, and mathematical views, gives the Department of Logistics its unique character. It enables students to familiarize themselves with real-world problems while mastering valuable and necessary skills. We will be introducing each of the four focus areas in the department as we dive deeper into what we have here to offer in the Department of Logistics. I now introduce you to one of my colleagues to tell you more about logistics and supply chain management. Thank you. Hi, my name is Thomas Sandela Lentle and I'm a lecturer focusing on logistics and supply chain management. I'm going to tell you why I'm so passionate about this field of study and give you some clarity on what it's about and what you can expect to learn when you enroll for a degree in this area. Think about your morning today when you woke up and got dressed, hopefully brushed your teeth. Did you ever stop and think how the toothpaste got to be available for you to purchase in the retail store? Well, logistics and supply chain is what makes that possible. We focus on processes, people, technology, and infrastructure required to make these goods and services available to individuals and companies. As an overview, it's about how to plan, coordinate, and control aspects like sourcing, manufacturing, transport, distribution, and warehousing, and other operations across companies in order to provide the right product at the right place, at the right time, at the right price, and of course not forgetting the right quality. It's not only about meeting the requirements of the consumer, but it's about how we get all of this done while still making a profit for businesses. Looking at the recent events, such as the COVID-19 pandemic, we all know that many businesses had to shut down. But essential services kept on working. The pandemic has brought to light how essential logistic services are in making our modern world work as the operation of many essential services is aided by logistics, for instance, transport and distribution. The worldwide rollout of the COVID-19 vaccines has shown to be the largest logistics task ever undertaken. Furthermore, if you recall the blockage of the Suez Canal in March 2021 by the container ship Evergreen, this had horrendous effects on supply chains and demonstrated the significant and critical role that logistics and supply chains play in global trade. Logistics and supply chain management is like an intricate web that connects many different industries together. And it's through those connections that we are able to share our skills in the workplace and as mentioned, different products in formal retails and even vibrant marketplaces. Our graduates are easily employable at almost every public and private business, such as Transnet, SA Breweries, Aramax, ShopRite Checkers, Unilever, Take A Lot, Imperial Logistics, Distill, and Cape Urban Spice just to name a few. We really hope you'll join us. I would like to introduce you to one of my colleagues who will tell you more about the focus area of transport economics. Thank you, Kurt. Hello, I'm Jakumin van der Merwe, a transport economist and lecturer in the Department of Logistics, and I will tell you more about this focus area. Modern society is completely dependent on transportation to sustain its way of life and it is difficult to consider any person or product that does not require transport at some stage. A global agenda is to support sustainable development, local and international trade, and the important function of our cities and urban areas. Transport, land use, and technology plays an extremely important role in the development of sustainable solutions that drive smarter cities, innovation in transport technologies, such as advancements in autonomous and electric vehicles, and better urban and regional planning through the use of innovative data sources. Transport can also often lead to various problems, such as congestion, environmental pollution, and shortage of infrastructure, as well as the existence of destructive competition or monopolies in the sector. 
a transport economist will apply his or her skills to efficiently allocate scarce resources within the transportation sector. They do so by predicting demand, for example, the number of trips or the choice of transportation mode, and supply, the capacity, speed, and accessibility of the transport mode, and evaluate methods of financing, maintenance, improving and expanding the transport networks for freight and passenger transport. Transport economists can work in many different transportation sectors, such as road, railway, maritime, pipeline, and airline economics, as well as be involved with development projects and city and regional planning. We seek to answer questions like how do large multinational shipping companies operate and support the world economy? Why are some airlines successful and why do others fail? How have Europeans established such a successful passenger rail system and the United States operates such a successful private freight rail system? Transport economists are usually part of a multidisciplinary team, which includes engineers, spatial and environmental planners. Services are rendered in both the private sector in companies such as MERS Group, Airports Company South Africa and Uber, and in the public sector, research or financing sectors for institutions such as the CSIR, United Nations and World Bank, as well as government departments including Treasury. I have the privilege of introducing you to Business Analytics, an exciting offering in the Faculty of Economic and Management Sciences. Business analytics is a tool that adds value to companies that are committed to data-driven decision-making. The skills presented in business analytics will equip you with data analytical skills to gain insights on business functions and processes. The skills will help you to inform evidence-based decision-making and will give you the edge to function at highly competitive levels, both as an asset to any data-driven company, but also as an independent consultant. Interesting problems that you will learn to solve include how to obtain large amounts of data from the web, how to safely store it, and to harness that data to gain insights that provide your client with a competitive edge, or how to find the influencers in a social network and how to leverage their popularity for marketing strategies, and how to apply your artistic creativity to visualize information using data design principles that enhances understanding and advanced reporting. Business analytics is one of the focal areas within the BCom Management Sciences program, so if you're fascinated by data visualization and analysis, social networks, modeling of complex problems, and informed decision making, then this is the course for you. Operations research is the fourth focal area within the Department of Logistics, and is known for being the science of better. Operations research is a field in mathematical optimization which uses analytics and optimization techniques to make a difference in the world. Operations researchers apply maths to complex problems to find meaningful data-driven insights and improvements. The role of an operations researcher is to make daily decisions on which solutions will yield the best return based on mathematical evidence. Operations researchers often find themselves part of an analytic team or consultant group that are able to build new models from scratch based on a high level of mathematical understanding and programming skill. If you've ever asked yourself the question, how can this process be made better in scenarios such as finding the shortest route for a courier company to deliver parcels to their clients while minimizing fuel costs, or the best way to schedule doctors and nurses in hospitals in order to minimize patient waiting time, or how to help retailers to keep the right amount and types of stock to maximize their sales, then consider enrolling for operations research. Like other applied mathematical fields, operations research can be used in all industries and sectors. Past students have found themselves working in consultation companies like Barlow World and Accenture, retail companies such as Take A Lot, Pep and ShopRite, financial companies like First National Bank, APSA and Capitec, IT companies, and industrial companies like Harmony Gold and Sassel. Operations research is a focal area within either a BCom or BSc Mathematical Sciences degree. For more information on what the Department of Logistics has to offer, please visit our website or get in contact with us. We look forward to welcoming you in our department very soon. Thank you.